I'm Blaze, I'm the lifestyle ex expert, <laughs> and I'm here to make Sharon feel like their best self. My name is Adrian, I am the interior designer, and my life motto is idil. Interior design is life. That is it. Hi, I'm Murray, and my motto is, no matter what you're wearing, dresses, shirts, pants, skirt, unicorn onesie, always tuck it into your underwear. I'm Elle, and I'm your grooming expert. I always say, hair speaks volumes. I'm here to make Sharon feel like their best self with their hair and their skincare, and just feel like an all-around better person. My name's Julie, and I'm your culinary expert. Um, my motto in life is to take care of yourself always, and I find that a big part of that is by taking care of yourself through food, and I say, let the food take care of you for once. You know? My name is Harley. I'm the production assistant for PI here. Um, and I'm writing a Lorax fan fiction, and you all are gonna read it. The Fab Five just landed in the Berkshires, Massachusetts to meet their next hero, Sharon, who works as the Art Hut manager at Odyssey Teen Camp. Here's Sharon coming in for another day of chaos at the Art Hut. Their job is to oversee all art that happens at camp at all times, and make it stay organized, creative, and most importantly, keep track of where all the scissors are. The questions never stop. Where's the paint? Where's the tape? Where's the markers? I am just super excited to help Sharon embrace their interior design. I'm really excited to help Anais' coworker like stop feeling so stressed out and just get them on the right track again. Exactly. I feel like a very huge part of finding yourself and being able to relax is cooking good food and like being able to have that activity to sink into and let yourself rest and I'm really excited to give them that for themselves. Um, yeah, I mean I, I heard that they weren't really sticking and like feeling I suppose completely comfortable at camp and so um, I'm gonna I hope that we as the Fab Five can help help them feel more comfortable here. Yeah I, I really just want I think a big part of you know relieving their stress is you know self-care mm -hmm. and I want Sharon to feel their most authentic self with our help. <laughs> I've nominated you to be on Queer Eye, okay. um, and these five fabulous people are here to help you improve your life. We're just so excited to have you on the show, darling. So Sharon, take me through your day of eating. So at camp, I would say that my plate is a beige color every day. Every food that I put on is the same Let shade me of stop you right beige. There. Yeah. We have a whole salad bar. Okay. Um, have you ever explored that as an option? Yeah. So I'm I am big on bean sprouts. Mm, a very fine choice. Yeah. Mm. I like bean sprouts myself, but um, I personally find that I need a lot of diversity, mm -hmm. and I've kind of exemplified that in this plate here today. Um, we've got veggie chips, takis, um, nuts, and chocolate, and that I think is a very big part of camp is balance, mm -hmm. um, not only in your diet but in life itself. Wow. Um, and so I think having some, that, like this is a lot of colours, I think your food can't just look like that. Your food has to look very beautiful and colourful. and. Um, I think maybe we can work on including some more, more not only bean sprouts, but the cucumbers are always delightful. I mm -hmm. heard Eureka makes a mean cucumber. Um, but so we can work on that together. Thank you. Today I really feel like I made some strides with with Sharon about how they're eating and how their diet's been at camp. Um, we really talked about their, their intake of greens and how it could be affecting their, their body and how that's working. Um, you might want to take that and 
reinvent it, you know. I know they were worried about their hair. You could talk to them about that. Um, yeah. But I think they're in very good hands with you, and I think you know, it's your time. Yeah, thank right. you. Let's do it. Let's go. So how have your hygiene habits been since you got to camp? You know, they've been better in the past. Um, my toothbrush is moldy. Wow. Yeah. I haven't been remembering sunscreen that often. That's a, you need to remember that. Um, and I'd like to open up to you about something. Of course. I've had um, a decade long battle with dandruff. Thank you so much for telling me that. I know that can be hard to, you know. Thank you for giving me the space to talk about it. Our mission this week is going to be to take that dandruff and make it not something that you're, you know, so ashamed of. Thank okay. you. We're going to work on it. Hey, Sharon. Hey, what's up? Um, I made a little care package for you. Oh, thank you. We got your toothbrush and toothpaste mm -hmm. and the big event. Therapeutic dandruff shampoo. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Elle. So basically it's just, you know, your normal shampoo. It has a lot of active ingredients. It has coal tar. Um, it's really just gonna make your hair feel a lot better and the dandruff is gonna... Smell is not important. Um, it's really just gonna help your hair a lot. Great. Hi, I'm Alexis, this is Kaja, and this is Monty, and we are cabin number four, aka Sharon's Cabin. And being a member of Sharon's Cabin, one goes through a lot. The cabin is in complete chaos. That's all I have to say. Now, Kaja, would you have to say anything? Funny how they call them Sharon, considering all the space they hoard. I think it's just really difficult seeing Sharon like this, and I just hope we can find a way to get out of this. Come on, man. And this is all of Sharon's stuff on another bed. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Nasty. It has potential. For potential. Where the fuck is my clean underwear? someone to look up to, but then I come here and see this, I <laughs> Oh my god. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> One thing about Sharon is that they're never here. They're at the art hut most of the time, and they even shit there. So Sharon's never home to even talk to us or counsel us, which is their job. So actually, before I came to camp, every single I have I packed every single um, of my outfits in an individual plastic bag and labeled them by day, as we can see here. Um, and so when I got to camp and I found that my counselor lived like that, I was surprised to say the least. You know, I thought maybe the counselor would have more planning than the camper, but. You know, Sharon's special. Okay. We're gonna clean it. We're gonna organize it. We're gonna snazz it up. And we will check for mold. Sharon. Hi, Marie. Hi. It's so nice to finally sit down with you. You as well. Mm -hmm. So tell me about what you're wearing today. I'm loving the, the tucked in shirt. Yeah, so this I got on eBay. This one, you know, I've never actually worn it. I try it on all the time, and I think it gives me like a Victorian um, ghost energy, I, I, but... 
I love this so you, much. You do? Okay, I, thank I you. I think that this needs to be, this needs to see the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. You are? I'm ready, Murray. I believe in you. So what's up with Sharon this week? This week, we uh, we learned a lot about Sharon's self-confidence issues. Um, yeah, I saw that a lot in how they are having trouble um, just being comfortable in how they wish to dress. And I'm hoping that our conversation can um, help them. We confronted a big part of their spirit by uh, dealing with how they've been eating at camp and trying to help them work through their digestive issues. and fit with more of a balanced plate and more of a balanced life, you know? Yeah. Alright. Let's help Sharon, guys. So Sharon, what do you think a day is like for you? A day for me is pretty busy, you know? I'm trying to balance my art hut responsibilities and my counselor responsibilities. I'm feeling a little bit stressed, pulled in multiple directions. So you feel stressed? And yeah. how do you think this affects you like, physically? You know, I think stress comes with all sorts of things. Don't think that I'm taking care of myself as well as I could be. And I don't think I'm really, you know, expressing my, my true authentic self to these campers. Well, today we're going to get you into your own skin to feel comfortable and happy and I have some things planned that I think will really help. I want to help you Sharon. I want to help you be the best person you can be. I need you to really look at yourself, look into your soul and I need you to look through those beautiful windows, see your in insecurities and write them on the mirror on yourself. Think about all those problems turning into a white light and melting off of yourself. And then like, drink the sun's energy back up. The positive, fiery energy. Really, 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 really. I feel that warmth in your chest. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. wipe these away, just like they were just wiped from your <laughs> yes! You've done it, Sharon! Thank you. You've gone so far! It's the next day, and Adrian's back at Sharon's desk to reorganize their workspace. I'm just really excited, Sharon, to get your life back on track here. And Murray is getting ready to say goodbye to Sharon by writing them a note for when Sharon comes back. Sharon won't believe their eyes when they see how clean it is at the art hut. Dear Sharon, thank you for giving us the chance to improve your life. It has been an honor. Over the course of this past week, we have watched you blossom into yourself. We can't wait to see what your future holds. Good luck with your life and best, the Fab Five. In their freshly cleaned cabin, picking out their new outfit with their new outlook, flake-free, Sharon is on their way to the silent disco.